The upcoming groundbreaking inventions of mankind have enabled enormous progress and improvements in the everyday lives of very many people over the past 500 years. Not all inventions can be attributed to a single inventor, and in some cases, the credit actually goes to someone else. Most of the inventions have given rise to very successful business ideas and in turn to very profitable companies. Number 1. The Printing of Books in 1458 Johannes Gutenberg, a German inventor, revolutionized the world of literature with the invention of printing in 1458. The first books printed were primarily Bibles, which paved the way for the creation of other works of literature. Gutenberg's invention allowed for the widespread dissemination of news, stories, opinions, and reviews, making it accessible to the general public. The first printing presses were established in several European cities, including Strasbourg, Basel, Cologne, Rome, and Paris allowing for the storage, duplication, and dissemination of knowledge on a large scale for the first time. This breakthrough meant that knowledge was no longer exclusive to the clergy and nobility, and education became more accessible to the masses. Books played a crucial role in making education possible for almost everyone on a broad basis. Despite the advent of the internet centuries later, books remain a vital part of our lives, and it would be impossible to imagine a world without them. Number 2. Electricity in 1600 Electricity and its supply to businesses and households form the backbone of our modern society, enabling many of the subsequent inventions that have become part of our daily lives. Today, electricity from the socket is an everyday commodity that we take for granted. While electricity-related phenomena such as lightning and electric shocks were known and studied before 1600, the systematic use of electricity emerged much later thanks to the work of the British scientist William Gilbert. In the early 17th century, he published his research results and introduced the concept of electrica, paving the way for countless other inventors, researchers, and scientists who contributed to the realization of this idea. Electricity, in the form of electrical energy, is now commonplace and has become an integral part of our lives. However, when the power fails, we suddenly realize how much we depend on electricity for our modern way of life. Despite its ubiquitous presence, it is important to acknowledge that over 1 billion people still do not have access to this commodity that we take for granted. Michael Faraday, Physicist Michael Faraday, a renowned British physicist, made significant contributions to the electrical industry that are still relevant today. In 1821, he published an article detailing his previous findings on electricity and magnetism, which were crucial for the development of the electric motor. He also formulated the fundamental laws of electrolysis, which later became the basis for telegraphy. Faraday's lightning show and the Faraday cage which he created are now among the highest of the German Museum in Munich, providing a daily demonstration of the impressive phenomenon of electricity. During Faraday's lifetime from 1830 onwards, many other inventors and scientists also contributed to the development of the first machines and devices for generating and utilizing electricity. This was the beginning of electrical engineering, which went on to become a cornerstone of Germany's industrialization. Werner von Siemens Werner von Siemens was a successful entrepreneur and inventor who played a crucial role in making industrial production based on electrical energy possible. In 1866, he developed an electrical generator that paved the way for modern electrical engineering. Today, his legacy lives on through Siemens AG, which grew out of the Telegrafen Bau Anstalt von Siemens & Halsk, the company he founded. Although the company's headquarters were originally located in Berlin, they have since been moved to Munich, the capital of Bavaria. Despite the relocation, the name Siemens is still synonymous with innovation and technological advancement, reflecting the enduring legacy of its founder. Number 3. The Computer in 1837 it may come as a surprise, but as early as 1837, two British mathematicians, Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace, were already working on the theoretical foundations for a calculating machine called the analytical engine. However, it would take nearly a century before the world's first functioning computer was built by the German inventor and entrepreneur Konrad Suser in 1941. Unfortunately, Sousa's Z3 calculating machine was destroyed during World War II by bombing raids on Berlin in 1944. Nonetheless, a working replica of the Z3 is now on display at the Deutsches Museum in Munich, showcasing the remarkable ingenuity and technological innovation of its creator. Around the same time, a mainframe computer was also developed by mathematics professor Howard Aiken and IBM engineers 
and it was unveiled in 1944 and later designated as Mark I. The computer, which weighed about 5 tons, is currently on display at the Cabot Science Building at Harvard University. However, it's worth noting that at the time of its creation, IBM CEO Thomas J. Watson famously estimated that there was a worldwide need for only about five computers. Underestimating the significant impact that computers would have on society and the extent to which they would transform every aspect of human life in the years to come. Personal Computer and Apple The development from the mainframe computer of the 1940s to the first affordable personal computer or PC happened at a much more rapid pace. In fact, the first personal computer, the Apple I, was already available in 1976. Its developers Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs went on to found Apple Computers Company to distribute the PC. Just a few months later, in 1977, Chuck Peddle introduced the Commodore PET 2001, the first PC to be delivered in a fully operational condition. In 1981, the first IBM PC was released and was primarily sold to companies. Number 4. The Telephone in 1876 The telephone revolutionized communication by allowing people to connect over long distances, bridging geographical gaps. The foundation of this system was the transmission of sound through electrical signals via wires. This concept was based on telegraphy, which is often seen as the forerunner to the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell Alexander Graham Bell was the first to receive a US patent for his invention of the telephone in 1876, although the idea of transmitting sounds through electrical signals had already been explored by other scientists. Bell was able to submit his patent application a few hours earlier than his competitor Alicia Gray. It is worth noting that Bell based his invention on earlier findings and models from Antonio Meucci and Johann Philipp Rice. He presented the first working telephone at the World's Fair in Philadelphia in 1876 and went on to co-found the Bell Telephone Company with other inventors. This company later became the telecommunications giant AT&T Incorporated. Thomas Alva Edison Thomas Alva Edison, an entrepreneur, received a US patent in 1878 for the carbon granule microphone, which was a major improvement of the Bell telephone. The granular carbon microphone served as a transducer of sound to current, while the electromagnetic loudspeaker served as a transducer of current to sound. These two components formed the fundamental structure of the telephone for several years. Number 5. The Electric Light Bulb in 1879 Once again we encounter the brilliant and accomplished businessman Thomas Alva Edison, who was granted US patent 222,898 for the invention of the electric light bulb in 1879. Edison had established an industrial research laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey in 1876, using the profits from his sale of the quadruplex telegraph to Western Union. In this lab, numerous inventions and new products were developed in the fields of electrical engineering, mechanics, and chemistry. The carbon granule microphone in 1876 and the phonograph from 1877 were only the first of many notable creations. In 1878, Edison and his associates began researching the development of the electric incandescent lamp with the goal of producing a useful lamp that burned for longer and consumed less energy. The benefit of this was replacing dangerous gas lights and flickering candles with a reliable and safe source of light in the home. The first public use of the incandescent lamps was on the newly constructed steamship Columbia of the Oregon Railroad and Navigation Company in 1880. Across the Atlantic, the British scientist Sir Joseph Wilson Swan had developed a functional electric incandescent lamp nearly simultaneously. In February of 1879, he presented his invention to a fascinated crowd of several hundred people. He was granted a patent for an improved version of the invention in November 1880. Number 6. The Automobile 1886 The 20th century saw significant progress in mobility with the invention of the automobile. The credit for this invention goes to the German entrepreneur Karl Friedrich Benz, who along with Gottlieb Daimler was among the first automobile manufacturers in Germany and laid the foundation for today's Daimler-Benz AG. In 1883, Benz founded the Benz C Rheinisch Gas Motor Fabric in Mannheim, and in 1886, he received a patent for the Benz Motorwagen Nummer 1. His wife, Bertha Benz, completed the first overland journey from Mannheim to Pforzheim and back, covering a distance of over 100 kilometers in Benz Motorwagen Number no. 3 in 1888. The Bertha Benz Memorial Route still commemorates this pioneering journey today. Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach 
Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach developed gasoline-powered single-cylinder four-stroke engines that were more compact and at higher output than gas engines. These Daimler engines were the basis for the development of the first vehicles with internal combustion engines, a motorcycle in 1885, a motorboat in 1885, a carriage in 1886, a streetcar in 1887, and a truck in 1888. The first Daimler motor car was introduced at the 1889 Paris World's Fair. Daimler and his inventors established the Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft DMG in 1890 in Stuttgart, sparking an exciting competition with Benz that ended in 1926 with the merger of the two entrepreneurs to form Daimler Benz AG. The automobile increasingly dominated the street scene in the 20th century, with the horse and carriage quickly disappearing and speed and distance becoming essential concepts. Number 7. The Airplane in 1903 the desire to fly like a bird has been a long-standing dream of humanity. However, it wasn't until the Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville, successfully achieved this feat. Even though flight was only accomplished in the early 20th century, first with gliders and later with a motorized airplane, it is now commonplace. The Wright brothers primarily based their research on the theories of French engineer Louis-Pierre-Marie Mouillard and German aviation pioneer Otto Lilienthal who died in the Berlin Charité Hospital after crashing from a height of about 15 meters during one of his flights near the Stollen on the Gollenberg in 1896. On December 17, 1903, Orville Wright piloted the biplane he had designed himself, known as the Wright Flyer or Kitty Hawk Flyer, making the first successful flight. Immediately after, Wilbur Wright also took to the skies and flew for about one minute, covering a distance of 260 meters. Number 8 television 1906 the invention of television would not have been possible without electricity however it required further technical advancements to become a reality in 1906 max dykman a pioneer in radio and television technology and professor at the technical university of munich generated the first screen-like television images using a brawn tube august carolus presented the first television set at the great german radio exhibition in berlin in 1928 with an image resolution of about 10,000 pixels. The first test transmissions were made from the Witzelben radio station in Berlin in 1929, and trials of television were also conducted in other European cities, Moscow, and the USA. After World War II, the number of households with televisions increased rapidly, with the first major event being the coronation of Elizabeth II on June 2, 1953. Color television began in West Germany until August 1967, 16 years after the first television program was broadcast by CBS in New York. The fourth broadcasting ruling of the Federation Constitutional Court on November 4, 1986, marked the beginning of the first private stations in Germany, with RTL being one of the first stations to appear on the TV schedule. Number 9. The Internet, 1960s the creation of the internet was made possible by the growing popularity of personal computers in households, coupled with the use of the HTTP protocol. The internet has undergone an exciting evolution from its beginnings as ARPANET to the current era of Web 3.0, a journey spanning five decades. As of 2021, approximately 5 billion people worldwide were estimated to be using the internet, with the majority of users located in Asia, where there are around 2.75 billion users including 900 million in China alone. Europe comes in second place, with an estimated 337 million users, followed by North America, with approximately 348 million users. The development of the internet occurred in multiple phases, with decentralization, communication, cooperation, and information sharing being the initial driving forces. However, these ideas have taken a backseat in recent years. Nonetheless, there is hope that the development of Web 3.0 will help to restore these principles. Number 10. The Smartphone 2007 January 9, 2007, Steve Jobs introduced the first model of the Apple iPhone. The introduction of the iPhone marked a turning point in the history of mobile technology as it introduced a new era of smartphones with advanced capabilities and functionalities. Prior to the iPhone, smartphones were primarily used for business purposes, with limited features such as email, internet browsing, and basic applications. The iPhone, with its multi-touch interface and sleek design, brought a new level of sophistication to mobile devices, making them more accessible to the general public. 
Since then, the smartphone industry has grown rapidly, with many companies now competing to develop the latest and greatest devices. Smartphones have become an essential part of our daily lives, with capabilities that go far beyond simply making phone calls and sending text messages. Today's smartphones are equipped with high-quality cameras, powerful processors, and sophisticated software that allows users to access a vast array of apps and services. The era of smartphones has transformed the way we communicate, work, and interact with the world around us. From social media and entertainment to online banking and e-commerce, smartphones have opened up a world of possibilities that were once unimaginable. As we move into the future, it is clear that the smartphone will continue to play an important role in shaping the way that we live and work. We hope that you enjoyed learning about the most groundbreaking innovations in human history with us. Did you know all these things about human inventions yet? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments below. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.